most welcome to Historias Panama, History Reconnaissance. This is the story of USS Thetis Bay, the Casablanca class escort aircraft carrier, the 36th of 50 commissioned during World War II. A carrier with three careers and three classifications. A story of war, repatriation, disaster relief, training and standing by for action. She was built by the Kaiser Shipbuilding Company, Vancouver, Washington. Commissioned 21st of April 1944. And please, like, share and subscribe. It means a lot to us. After commissioning and a shakedown cruise, Thetis Bay was assigned to transport duty, leaving San Pedro, California with passengers and aircraft, then stopping at Pearl Harbor, heading for the Marshall Islands, and returning to Pearl with the 50th Engineer Combat Battalion on board. Then she continued during 1944 and 1945 with several round trips, ferrying supplies from the United States to a variety of destinations in the Pacific. Here, on the 8th of July 1944, Thetis Bay is on her way to Naval Air Station Alameda with an operable aircraft, PBY Catalinas, Hellcat fighters and a duck amphibious biplane. In October 1945, Hundreds of U.S. Navy ships were used in Operation Magic Carpet, the post-World War II operation repatriating over 8 million American military personnel from the European, Pacific and Asian theaters. One of these was Thetis Bay. The images that follow are from a private Home at the Carrier movie, probably shot in the early 1960s. If you know more, please drop a line in the comments below. Anyways. Thetis Bay was most bold in 1946, then in 1955 converted to the US Navy's first assault helicopter carrier. At this time, the only ship in the US Navy adapted for such operations. For a short time, she became CVAH-1 carrier assault helicopter. Then, finally, LPH-6 landing platform helicopter. On September 24, 1956, Colonel Frederick R. Payne brought down an HRS-3 helicopter on the flight deck of Thetis Bay, becoming the first Marine Hilo pilot landing on an actual LPH. This is a stern view of Thetis Bay in 1956, after its extensive conversion into a helicopter carrier. The part of the flight deck that has been cut is distinctly visible. On the 28th of May 1959, she was reclassified as a landing platform helicopter amphibious assault ship. Well, let's just call her LPH-6, that's her hull symbol. To the pilots and marines, she was just known as Teddy Bear from her radio call sign. Thetis Bay was a small ship compared to other warships of the time. Her length, 500 feet, was slightly less than half of the new attack aircraft carriers. She could accommodate a thousand marines, officers, helicopter pilots and enlisted men. In addition to the 40 officers and 598 men operating her. August 1959, USS Thetis Bay was assigned to disaster relief operations. A typhoon had hit Formosa, known as Taiwan today, creating some of the worst flood damage to date. There, she used her 21 Marine Corps Sikorsky H-34s of Marine Helicopter Transport Squadron 261 to ferry aid and transport stranded civilians. After six days, 897 assistance trips completed, 726 tons of supplies and 850 refugees had been airlifted. Captain Charles C. Gibson, the commanding officer of this ship and his crew, saved lives and helped survivors begin to rebuild theirs. In May 1960, Thetis Bay took part in a training night assault landing at Camp Pendleton, California. 
During the operation, her helicopter carried 1,300 troops and 30 tons of cargo to the objective area. This practice operation represented the first large-scale night landing of ground forces by helicopter based on a border carrier. For the next three years, Thetis Bay operated along the Atlantic coast and in the Caribbean. In October 1962, during the height of the Cuban Missile Crisis, she was ready with her helicopter contingent and a marine landing team, standing by for potential actions. In the spring of 1963, she ferried special aircraft required for President John F. Kennedy's planned visit to West Germany, to Hamburg. In September 1963, she headed to Haiti, affected by Hurricane Flora. She anchored off Port-au-Prince and launched marine helicopters carrying medical aid and food supplies. That's all folks. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.